What's up, everybody? My name is Ben Thomas. You have heard some of my work with artists such as Little Uzi Vert, Future, Meek Mill, Jasmine Sullivan, and Friday. And I'm here to show you some cool tips and tricks in Pro Tools, specifically how you can make your own keyboard shortcuts. And then if you're a recording engineer, some different ways that you can edit a two track beat to make your song more interesting. So let's start with a little known feature in the Mac where any of these window commands up here, anything that's listed, you can make a shortcut with that. And so for me, when I look at my keyboard, I know that the keys F13 through F19 don't do anything. So those are some open keys that I can do some really cool things with. So if I come to my system settings and I search keyboard, I'm looking for this thing right here that says keyboard shortcuts. If I click this and I go right here to app shortcuts, I can add Pro Tools or I can do all applications. And I just click the plus. And it's very important that whatever the menu title that you want, you type it exactly how it is. So let's say I want to do Verify. So I type in Vera-FI. I come right here and let's say I want that one to be F17. I'm going to press F F17 and hit Done. So now if I come back to Pro Tools and I press F17, boom, Verify opens for me. Let's see if I go back and I do one more. Let's say I hit Plus, I type in Reverse. And then let's make that one F19. Hit Done, Done. Come back to Pro Tools, F19, Reverse opens right up for us. I'll show you one more. So if I come back and I do Keyboard Shortcuts and then App Shortcuts, one of my favorite is this one right here that says Hide All Floating Windows. And I made that Command W. So now, anytime I open up a plugin, if I press, press Command W, it closes. If I press Command W again, it opens back up. It makes it a lot easier than having to navigate to the X to open and close plugins. Because it's really important that when you're in a session with an artist as a recording engineer, the main thing that you're focused on is speed. The faster and more efficient you are at using Pro Tools, the better of an engineer that you'll be. Okay, cool. So now that we know how to set up shortcuts in Pro Tools, let's actually put some of them to the test. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this song I have open. Awesome. This is a really great song from an artist from Philadelphia named XG. So when we're trying to chop up the beat in a session, we can do something simple, like just cutting the beat out and dropping it. But we can make that a lot more interesting. So one of my favorite features in Pro Tools is if you go Edit, Separate Clip on Grid. So now if I hit OK, you see I have cuts on the grid for this section. So what happens if I mute every other clip? That one, this one, and this one. Let's hear that. Adds a little bit of interest. Let's try some other things. If we come over here, we listen to this part of the beat. Let me solo the beat. So what I like to do is I like to find two claps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one clap. I'm going to duplicate this track. And then I'm going to copy this clap to this track. Select all this. And then I'm gonna come up to my audio suite section. Let's go to Reverb, and then we just need something simple. So we'll go to Dverb, and then we'll hit Render. So now, if we listen to this solo, we have our clap with some reverse on it, I mean with some uh, reverb on it. And then now, let's use our shortcuts from earlier. F19 opens our reverse, so let's duplicate this track again. Copy this clap. We have our reverse open. Let's render it, and then close that, Command-W. And so now, let's listen to what these two sound like together. So now it's going back. So now let's see what something like that sounds like if we were to drop this whole beat. Let me solo that so you can hear it a little better. Something very unique that a lot of artists wouldn't have heard before, and that is really what will make you look like a much better engineer in a session. And I'll show you one more real quick. So let's come over here, let's listen to this part of the beat. So what if we made our grid size a little smaller and then let's verify right here. So let's verify this part right here. Again, we set up a shortcut for that. F19, hit the slowdown. And then coming back, what if we verified this part going up? So now we have. And then if we combine that with what I showed you earlier, 
we come edit, separate clip on grid. Let's separate, let's make our grid size a little smaller actually. And then we go edit, separate clip on grid. Let's hit okay. And then just like earlier, let's delete every other clip. Actually, we'll mute every other clip this time. Boom, boom, boom. So now let's hear all that together. You can play around with the timing and stuff, but just to make the beat a little bit more interesting. So those are just some cool ways that you can set up your own shortcuts in Pro Tools and chop up beats during a session to make it make your song a little bit more interesting. My name is Ben Thomas, and you can follow me on Instagram at Ben F. Thomas Music.